welcome back. We continue our adventures in and around Mumbai and today we are going to visit one of the seven wonders of Maharashtra, the Global Vispasana Pagoda. As the pagoda sits across the creek from us, we have come to the Gorahahi Kadi boat point in order to catch a ferry for the fastest and most direct route across to the pagoda. As you can see, the boat point is really rather busy and I was completely amazed to find out that motorbikes were mingling amongst passengers uh, to get on the ferries. And one thing I found out through my stay in Mumbai is that motorbikes are not just a one or two passenger uh, vehicle. They also take uh, a whole families, as you saw from the little child sat uh, between his father and the handlebars. It is June 2024 and the monsoon season has just started, hence uh, all the umbrellas and it looking quite grey and wet, but actually it was pretty warm and humid. So we hired a driver for the day, you can see him uh, on the, at the front there on the right hand side uh, with a shirt, slightly green shirt and waistcoat. Um, he had taken us all the way down to the Boston pontoon and was making sure that we knew which ferry we needed to catch. In fact, the gentleman in the yellow t-shirt uh, kind of took us under his wing to make sure we knew uh, where we were, go we were going. Uh, and he was also quite keen to uh, utilize our umbrella as shelter and that's his son there that he kind of pushed underneath uh, one of our umbrellas. So we were surrounded by mangroves and with that came mosquitoes so we did actually spend quite a bit of time madly spraying ourselves with anti mozzie spray and here we are on the ferry. And here we are at the entrance to the Vipassana Pagoda. It's a short walk away from the uh, ferry terminal. And as you can see, it's quite ornate. Um, this was the entrance. And in order to actually go in, uh, there was an entrance for women and an entrance for men. You couldn't enter together. And although you enter through different entrances, once you have gone through the entrance and you've gone through various security, uh, you can then reassemble afterwards, but you are requested that men and women keep a reasonable distance apart from each other. The golden dome-like structure that you see ahead that actually forms into a steeple-like shape um, is 85 meters in diameter and 99 meters tall. It is the Global Vipassana Pagoda and it is a monument of peace which aims to spread teachings of compassion and non-violence propagated by the Buddha and to promote the practice of Vipassana. This gentleman had attracted our attention and encouraged us to come over and do a meditation session. Just done a meditation session in there. Minutes. Only the monks are allowed in the in the uh, main bit apparently. So the pagoda was inaugurated in February 2009 and it was constructed mainly with donations. The people of Thailand donated the golden paint, which is typically used in pagodas, and which is not available in India. And Sri Lanka donated original bone relics of the Buddha that have been enshrined in the dome. 
and because I was traveling with Portuguese colleagues uh, I'm going to add a little bit of Portuguese history in that and to tell you that the name Pagoda actually comes from the Portuguese when the, the first Portuguese sailors first arrived in the east and they came across uh, these structures uh, they were actually called the Gobas I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly but the uh, Portuguese sailors struggled to pronounce it so it, the word became Pagoda so now uh, these structures are known as Pagodas We are now inside the dome, but we're not in the centre of the dome. We are in the visitor's gallery, separated from the inner sanctum of the uh, dome by these uh, glass windows. The rule is that only old Vipassana meditators are allowed inside the dome. It's impressively large and it actually sits over 8,000 meditators. It's the end of the day and we're making our way by foot to our favourite restaurant close to the hotel. And here is the dessert we shared, a deconstructed, reconstructed at the table tiramisu. I've not seen anything like it before. It was uh, very nice, but filling. I hope you enjoyed the video of one of Maharashtra's Seven Wonders. If you did like it, please subscribe, like and comment as it really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching.